This CodeSmith Insight feature video will be over organizing feedback. CodeSmith Insight makes it dead simple for you to organize your feedback. Under the hood, CodeSmith Insight is driven by an advanced search system. Search is used to create dynamic views, which allow you to view and organize your data the way you want to see it. This means that there are no rigid or restricting file structures or hierarchies. It means that you are free to search, sort, and view your cases any way you want. Additionally, CodeSmith Insight offers a similarity search that helps you identify similar cases or duplicate cases while you are browsing. So let's take a look at these features. Advanced Search CodeSmith Insight is driven by searching. All data and fields are searchable, and views, which are how data is organized, are essentially just saved search queries. There is a feature video on searching, but before we talk about views, it's important to quickly cover the basics of searching with CodeSmith Insight. Firstly, you can search for text in any field simply by typing it into the search box. So here we can search for failure sending. We can see that it brings back two results. The first result has a rank, or I'm sorry, a match of 100%, and the second result has a match of 26%. This means that Insight felt that this case was a far better match than the second case for our search string of failure sending, which matched the title in this case, but only matched half the title in the second. You can also search by specific field. So here we can search for all cases that are type inquiry. And if we mouse over and look at our tooltips, we can tell from the icon off to the left, the little piece of mail, that all of these are inquiries. But we don't just have to search by strings, we can also search by dates. We can search for a created date, and we can use a macro of last week to see all the cases that were created last week. But so far we've been searching for fields that were in the actual case themselves. We can also search on any custom field. So here we can search for owner, and then do another macro of me. So now I can see all cases that I own. This is extremely dynamic, as the owner field is a custom field, meaning it doesn't exist rigidly in the system, it's a user-created field. And also, it's being dynamically populated with a list of users that are in this particular system. And because I'm logged in as Adam West, me referred to the particular user, or sorry, not the particular, but the relative user that I'm logged in as. So again, that's just the fundamentals. But the point here is that Codes with Insight offers a lot of advanced search functionality. Saved views. So now let's talk about views. In the center of the CodeSmith Insight web application is the view panel, and this is how you view your views. Each view is defined by its filter criteria. Its filter is actually just a saved search query. In this case, I'm looking at the inbox view, which is inside of the Batman group, and it has a filter of tag inbox project Batman. That means that all of the cases listed inside of this view are search results for that search. Each view has its own unique search query, so by creating and defining views and then organizing them in your view tree, you're actually defining the structure for how you want to organize and sort your data. But before we talk about the view tree, let's talk a little bit more about the views themselves. We just looked at how they have a filter, but a view has a little bit more than that. A view also has a view state. The view state consists of several things. First of all, it contains your column model, so what columns are being displayed here, what order they are in, and what columns are being sorted, and in which direction. While a view's filter is shared with all users, the view state is specific to a particular user. This means that you can arrange, organize, and sort your view however you want to see it. You can control what fields are being displayed, so you can control what is relevant to you. And the way you look at your view won't impact anybody else. Now more than just the column model, the view state also contains whether or not you're having a summary row displayed, which means you can see the summary of each case in your list. Also, it determines whether or not you have your preview panel displayed. The preview panel will show you the details of the selected case in the view, and it can be located on the bottom, the right, or it can be hidden. So I'm going to go ahead and save this view. Although I haven't changed the filter, I have changed my state. Now when I navigate away, this feature request view has a different state. It has its preview panel shown and its summaries still displayed in the rows. Also, the columns are different. But when I come back to the inbox, my personal view state has been persisted, so the way I want to see this view is still here. Should I choose to revert back to the default state, I can just right-click on the view, select Revert to Default, and it will go back to how it used to be by default. So again, the views are defined by their filters, which are shared among everyone, but they also have a unique view state for each user, so that you can look at your data however you choose. Now let's talk a little bit about the view tree. 
The view tree is here on the left and is essentially just a list of all the views that you have access to look at. It contains groups, which can be collapsed or expanded depending on if you want to see what's inside. And then inside of each group is just a list of the views that you can see. Everything in this tree can be organized however you choose by merely dragging and dropping. So I can grab this inquiry view here and move it from the Superman group into the Batman group. Or just inside the Batman group, I can reorder things by moving the feature requests above defect reports. From the tree, I can remove views and groups by merely right clicking and saying delete. Also, I can add additional groups by using the new button up here and selecting if I wanted to create a new group or a new view. When I create a new view, I have the ability to name it, create its filter and auto search, determine what group it should be displayed in, and also I can control the permissions for a view. Coats with Insight offers a complete permission system based on groups for all your users. This allows you to control who can read or edit any views that you create, allowing you to share your cases with whoever you'd like. So essentially the views are how you organize and maintain your cases and the view tree is how you organize and maintain your views. One more neat thing you can do with the view tree is drag and drop cases from your views onto the nodes in the view tree to make them conform to the search criteria of the view. This means that if I'm browsing the inbox and I see an inquiry that I actually think should be a feature request, I can go ahead and drag that onto my feature request view and that case will be updated to be of type feature request. If we look in the feature request view, that case now matches the filter criteria, so it appears here. This means that you don't need to manually edit your cases in order to organize your data. You can just drag and drop cases onto your views and allow the views to do the organizing for you. Similarity search. Coats with Insight comes equipped with a similarity search that helps you detect similar or duplicate cases. While you're browsing cases in a view, the system is automatically searching for similar cases on the right. We refer to this as the auto search. The auto search is actually an additional search query inside of your view. You have the filter and you have the auto search. The difference is that the auto search is being run against a specific case. So here on the right, the results we're seeing are actually from the query similar case ID where root is true, where case ID is the selected case from the row in the view. But this is customizable, so I could update this to be instead of root true, I could do type inquiry. This means that the auto search would now only bring back results that were similar to the case, but of type inquiry. So if I hit apply and I select my row again, we can see that it has brought back a different search result this time. And indeed, by looking at the tooltips, we can detect that they are all of type inquiry. So the similarity search is another way of helping you find the cases that you want to look at more easily. That concludes this feature video on organizing feedback. We hope you found it to be both helpful and informative. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for other videos, please visit us at codesmithinsight.com. My name is Tom DuPont. Thank you very much for using Insight.